Let us offer our consecration to the Lord. Lord, we offer up to you this day, and we ask that your name be glorified as we finish the fourth week of Easter and enter into, well, into the second half of Easter as we continue on to Pentecost Sunday. Let us be prepared and continue to prepare for the receiving of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Sunday, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Well, as you heard, we are indeed... In the fourth week of Easter, terminating it or ending, I guess better word, we are terminating it. It reminds me of a time that happened when I was uh, teaching, when I was preaching in in Somerville, actually St. Benedict's in Somerville. And we say in English, the mass has ended. And I I didn't have the words in Spanish in front of me. So I said, la misa es terminada. Well, immediately... Uh, this uh, sacristan woman came out and she says, no, 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 in Spanish. She says, the mass, the mass is never ended, which, by the way, is true. Uh, the mass never ends. It's you go now you take what you learned at mass. That's what it means and to go out and bring the message to the gospel. Mass comes from the word, the Latin word meaning to be sent, misare. So uh, she said, no, 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 the mass never ends. And she said, the way you're saying it is terminada. Uh, sounds like it's exterminated. It's termina- it is terminated is what I was saying uh, in Spanish. She says, es terminada. She says, it sounds like it's exterminated. So don't use those words. So I won't. So anyway, we are looking at what's going on here. And we're continuing uh, now that we have reached the end of this week. We're continuing with the talk that St. Paul started yesterday. And he's speaking in Antioch to the people at the time. And of course, this does begin with a battle with the other members, the people who are resisting to this teaching, but that's tomorrow and we're not on the air tomorrow. But we're talking about notice what he's doing. If you go back to the reading, which you're checking out in your favorite daily missile, if you want Um, You're going back and you're seeing how he's bringing the continuity from what the people understand of the Hebrew scriptures. Today, he is describing what the the life of Jesus, his death and his resurrection. And now he is saying and that he's declaring that he and the people who are with him, they are witnesses. And this is the Jesus to whom they are testifying. So we're seeing all of that come t- come together and where this is what he's starting to explain. Now, understand, he's speaking to people who may have heard rumors of this guy named Jesus and his movement and everything else, but they haven't heard the actual story. And so they are he's preaching this message to them. Obviously, there's going to be resistance. That's part of tomorrow's reading. But he's beginning to let people know that this Jesus is real and he's beginning to begin this message to the people, to the Jews, that in fact this evolution that we see throughout the history of the Jews is now continuing. Now understand that this evolution continues today and that is, well, what what is the whole message of the Bible? That there will come a point that the uh, the world will... A good way to put it. I mean, we can talk about, uh, you know, the, the, the end of the world in terms of a fiery destruction or something like that. But if you look really careful of what is happening, it's actually that the systems of the world collapse on themselves. And that's when Jesus appears because those systems collapse on themselves. And you can see that with the idea of the even the four horses of the apocalypse. What do you see? And you see famine, you see in war, you see in death. Uh, all of these things are remnant or symptoms of the world systems collapsing on themselves. And then what happens is Jesus basically takes over and... And now you have a world that's built in justice. So people are looking for all kinds of signs in the sky that the end of the world is coming. But really, the signs would be found with systems that collapse on themselves. And that's that's a story for another time. We're not going to go there. But we understand that what St. Paul is talking about is this evolution 
of the history of the Jews. He's, you know, he starts with Moses and he starts with the conquering of the Canaanites and returning to the promised land and the story of Saul and the story of David. Then he brings in Jesus and this is the Jesus who he's introducing to them and he's communicating to them this story. This is who Jesus is. He died under Pontius Pilate because the leaders of the Jews didn't understand him. It's literally the term he uses, by the way. They didn't... Um, It's the term they failed to recognize him. So it's not, notice what he says, the inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him is the words he's using. And what does that mean? That they didn't understand the signs, but do look, there isn't a, uh, what's the word? There isn't an antagonism there. It's not that they they decided that they wanted nothing to do with Jesus. Or, no, they failed to recognizing him. And they, at that point, you know, he doesn't give them any kind of a antagonistic or a hostility against God. He just basically says they failed to recognize him. And that's an important distinction we got to realize. We're going to talk more on the other side of the break. You're listening to St. Anthony Overnight from St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, right here on WEZE. We'll be right back. Right after this, from St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. You can now leave a message for us, which we can air and discuss on this program. Just call 617-297-7452. That's 617-297-7452. 617-297-7452. Feel free to call, leave a comment, a question, or even feedback, and we may play it on the air. I can discuss your comment or question as well, so give that a try. 617-297-7452. 617 7452. And don't forget our website, also our parish. We're located at stanthonyalston.org. So check that out, stanthonyalston.org. And you can listen to the radio show through there as well. Just go where it says radio show. <laughs> I think you figured that one out. But that's all you And you can listen to the radio program there. Or if you go to catholicaudiomedia.com, you'll see our various podcast platforms. So check that out as well. Catholicaudiomedia.com or stanthonyalston.org. So we're talking about uh, this reality. So Paul is communicating to them the continuity. And in doing so, he's telling them that the one whom the prophets were speaking of has arrived. It is this man, Jesus. They are witnesses to Jesus. They're witnessing to his ministry, his death, and his resurrection. And remember, Paul is a very intense Pharisee who has been converted and understands very intensely not only the Jewish faith, but also what many of the Jews may be thinking of. Again, tomorrow, if you look up in your daily missile, you're going to see that's where resistance begins. But understand that here's where all this stuff is happening. Here's where all this stuff is going on. Here is where all this stuff is is. Uh, where now they're bringing in the reality of who Jesus is, and they're bringing the reality of the whole message that now we are in the next stage of this evolution. So he's trying to teach this to the Jews, and obviously there's going to be resistance. Well, one of the things, you know, among some of the Jews, you're going to see that to this day, by the way, and I'm not focusing on the Jews, uh, meaning that. I mean, how, how often do I... How often do I cite Dennis Prager on this program? Um, even going so far as to say I don't necessarily agree with his politics, uh, but you know, as a scripture scholar, I love listening to what he has to say, and I've read all his Rational Bible series. Well, Dennis Prager does not accept Jesus as the Savior. He is a Jew. He is very committed. He's given several reasons why he doesn't. And you know, again, you still have this going on, and that's okay. Uh, you know, that's that's important for us to understand that, and also even see that we can see that whole. Thing Thing going on because you realize that when Paul is speaking to the Jews at the time, he is leading them to make a very serious decision, and they're not going to do it 
uh, just willy nilly. And at the same time, uh, there are those that will resist it and say, no, these these aren't who they say they are or whatever. And they're going to be in resistance just like they did with Jesus. That's going to happen. Um, but we understand that what Paul is talking about is that. Now, we have to realize that this evolution that I use, again, remember, for those of you who don't believe in the word evolution, the word you don't believe in is biological evolution, but it's pretty obvious that there are other forms of evolution, and that's that's true. So we can look and we can see what the uh, what the prophets and the apostles and everything else have said about our future as a human race, not necessarily tomorrow, not necessarily this generation, we don't know. And what does it involve? The next stage of this predicted evolution, which is basically the end of the rule of the world and the beginning of the complete rule of the kingdom of God. We see all that is part of it, and it's a, a, a whole change so if all of a sudden people said, well, we, we see that, you know, there are clear signs, well, we could listen, but we'd have to be discerning and decide whether or not there are clear signs until finally you see Jesus coming back in the clouds. You go, well, that's a clear sign. But anyway, we're going to talk more on Monday. Have yourself a blessed weekend. I want to call your attention to Catholic TV, which offers great faith-filled, family-friendly programming 24 hours a day. You can find your cable channel at www.getcatholictv.com, and you can watch on Line, on the free apps or check out the YouTube channel. Daily Mass, Rosaries, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and the Our Lady of Perpetual Help Novena are all available online and on demand. Check out CatholicTV.com. If you would like to support our program, please consider a donation to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. There are several ways to consider this. One is to purchase any of our merchandise, which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. There are coffee mugs there. There's also my latest book, Encounter Christ in Your Humanity, all of which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. You can also donate to the show directly through either the Donate tab, also at catholicaudiomedia.com, or by sending a donation through the U.S. Postal Service with your questions and comments at 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. That's St. Anthony Parish, 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. Finally, the best way you can support our parish is to attend Mass on Sundays at 10 o'clock and be a part of our parish. We thank you for any support you would like to give to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, the sponsoring parish for this media outreach to Catholics and other Christians in the WROL, WEZE, and podcast listening audience. In Cristo vivimos.